Welcome to Fit to Plus Tech. Today I want to talk to you about my Holy Grail, the one peripheral that I have used for 10 years. This is the Logitech M570 trackball. came out in 2010 and I have had, this isn't the same one, I have two of them. One of them I have at a friend's house for when I go to visit and then I have this one as well. And it has been really sturdy and uh, one of the best peripherals I've used and I'm, this is the only one I haven't really replaced in terms of I've replaced my keyboard, now I have a mechanical keyboard, I've built new machines with the new motherboards and new RAM and all this other stuff. But this is something that I always fall back on. And back when I started using it, it was mainly because I liked uh, the fact that I didn't have to have a lot of space to move it around on and it, it looked nice on my desk so but now that I'm getting older and I've since uh, I broke my wrist two years ago and um, I was singing with my barbershop chorus we were in a parade we're walking in the parade and then we were heading off to go get some food together and I stepped off a curb stepped on a rock and put my right hand in front of me and broke my wrist and I'll, there'll be a picture of the x-ray. It was not a good break. So I broke my wrist and then after that um, I realized it wasn't just about the fact that I liked using it. It became something that I really kind of need to use uh, because my wrists are not uncomfortable and if you have RSI or you have um, some kind of issues with your fingers or hands this particular type of peripheral, this trackball, is perfect. Um, like I said, I've had this type, the um, M570, and it is my holy grail. It is the only thing that I have not changed out or gone to look for another one. I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have used some other mouse. Uh, so I had a orb weaver for playing video games and things like that. But this is my standby. And I recommend this to those who are older and who are, uh, or have RSI, uh, it works out really well. Um, one of the things I really like about it is that you can just set it down, you know, on your desk and you don't have to worry about having any space because you put your hands here and you use the, the ball to move things around, uh, to move your cursor around on your computer. And it has two buttons and then you can use this, you can click it and uh, roll it up and down if you want to scroll down a page. This also uh, can be programmed for different things. Um, I don't need I don't need a peripheral with a whole lot and if uh, with a whole lot of button capability um, and if I do then like I said I'll get an orb weaver or I'll get a secondary peripheral but this is my standby and my holy grail and it has hold it it held up through so many things. The other thing that I really like about it is that um, basically you plug this into your USB. This is the wireless dongle for Logitech. They have a universal one so if you have multiple devices so if you have the mouse and you have their keyboard and you have uh, their headset you can use one uh, USB universal wireless dongle for all of them. And then uh, you can also put, oh, let's see if I can do it the right direction. You know you always have to do it three times, right? Okay. And you can put it inside there and store it. And then this can also be put in your suitcase or whatever, and you don't have to worry about having a, a bunch of space. You can use this with your laptop. You can use it with your desktop. That's the other thing that um, I really find beneficial too is that it's really easy to clean. You just pop the ball out and then there's some little, uh, oh gosh, these things, what are they called? I'll put it down here. Let's see, I'm just cleaning out all the stuff that gets on there. You just put the ball back in. The ball is replaceable. You can buy a new one if for some reason it gets really gunky. Um, there's the off and on button. So 
I have to say that this is a great, it's a great gift for someone who is older who uh, is struggling moving the mouse around, is causing issues for their wrist. Like I said, mine is broken, so I've, you know, I've got a scar down here, I've got a piece, and I've got some pins. Um, and one of the things that I found with using this particular peripheral was that um, once I broke this, I started by using, because I had to continue to work, so I started by using a um, vertical left-handed mouse, and that worked really well at first. And then, after a while, I had to switch to right. And this was the easiest, uh, the easiest device, peripheral, to use once I had, um, once I was able to start using my right hand again, which took a few months, took two, three months before I could start actually using my main hand. But um, I have to say that I highly recommend this. What is your favorite? Mouse, peripheral, trackball? What do you use? On which ones do you like and why? Um, tell me in the comments. Uh, like I said, I've had this for a decade. I've been using the same peripheral for a decade. And, and on occasion, little side things, you know, because I play video games, so I would use the little uh, gaming mice, you know, but I would tend to use it on my left hand and then use this as my main. Uh, so I could put, because I play RPG, so I could put little different spells and all that other stuff on the other mouse. But for everything, this is the one I pack it in my uh, laptop bag, and it's something that works for me, and I don't have any discomfort even considering the fact that I broke my wrist. Uh, I hope that you found this review uh, helpful, and if you have any questions or any comments, uh, please put those down below, and uh, so that's interesting, but down below, um, and like. Please subscribe and hit that bell, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.